next up we're going to take a look at our bottom blocks here. Now we've got these three module positions down the bottom here so we're going to go and start creating those uh, in our module manager but it might be worth to have a quick think about where those modules are going to go um, as you know blank Joomla template has many rows where you can play stuff so I think we're going to go grab the PDF that you can download from the site that you can reference these module positions in so if we um, I've just downloaded that so if we go grab that from my, the downloaded folder you'll see that let's make that a little smaller um, there's all the different module positions so we want to put that underneath the main content so we're going to use row E I guess so we're going to create a brand new custom HTML module and that's going to be our first one for prices we're going to go and put that in our module position let's go find all the row E's and we're going to put that in row E module position 1 we will show the title. So let's go grab some of this content. Grab these lines and paste them in. And the second one there. And the third. And we'll make them a bulleted list as per the mock save that up and we'll get on to our next module which is the feedback give that a title, we'll put that on module position E2 and we'll go grab the demo text paste that straight in uh, along with the second row save as a copy I'm going to do the same for the contact block, we'll put that on position 4 on row E grab that other content, clear the existing stuff just go and grab the email there, I think we might need to get rid of that text box so we can get to that I'll paste that in and we'll make that uh, H2 style and the same with the phone number H2, great, ok let's save that up and see how that's looking on our web page and there we have the basics of our blocks now there's something that I forgot to add to these um, to these modules and that is to give them a module class because we want to style these blocks the same. So we're going to give that a class of mod blue for each of those three blocks. So we can use a module class to style them all the same. So we need that we need those blue backgrounds and we need them all to be the same height. So we're just going to paste in that module class suffix to all three of them and onto prices as well into the module class suffix, there we go 
and if we save that up and go back to our website and give that a refresh we'll need now to um, just inspect using firebug those modules we need to start creating these block styles so we need the height and we need the color behind it so we start inspecting that and we'll see just above that 83 tag we'll see that our class has been appended to the module table class so if we copy that class and go to our custom we'll see that we can create that class go back to our home page give it a refresh and we now if we just select that from the HTML we can now see that there's our new class so we can now start styling these blocks so the first thing we want to do is add a bit of color so we'll grab that hex color that we've given it there and we'll throw that into the background and see instantly because we've applied it across all the modules we can uh, see that happen across all three of them. We also need the height. We'll, we'll just whack in a couple of hundred px. Maybe that's just a little high, so we'll just drop that down a couple. We'll leave that like that for the time being. I think maybe just a bit of padding might help here as well. So we'll give that 10px. Great, so now you can see that we've now got uniform style across all three blocks by just one block of CSS and our module class suffixes on each of the three blocks. Okay, so next up